हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज पुष्पेंद्र कुमार पटेरिया योर मेंटर एंड कोर्स इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर दिस कोर्स इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिजिटल लॉजिक लॉजिक गेट्स एंड बुलियन एल जब सो दिस इज द फंडामेंटल लेक्चर्स इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस फ्यू ऑफ द टर्म्स विच विल बी important for the coming classes or lectures so digital logic you understand logic is a basic fundamental thing as a human or machine it helps us to decide something when we talk about digital logic or boolean logic it works in 0 1 or true false right so understand how the logic can be built it is easy if you are familiar with logic gates so let's first talk about the logic gates there are multiple types of logic gates there are few fundamental logic gates like i'm giving the numbers so the very first logic gate is let's say i'm saying and gate the symbol of and gate is i can draw something like this is another logic gate or not gate this bubble represents the not gate here so i'm drawing here two input this is this is uh, i'm saying and gate this is or gate this is not gate now by the combination of these we can have few more gates so you can say nand gate like two input and nand gate we can draw something like this we set a bubble here I'm writing this is representing nand nor gate so this is representing two input nor gate there are two more gates xor so this is representing two input xor gate and xnor so represent like this there's a bubble this is xnor okay so i believe you people must be having the familiarity with all these gates now let's talk about let's talk about the truth table of all these gates so let's draw the truth table the very first truth table going to draw is of and gate let's say okay 
So because I have taken two input and gate, I'll consider there are two inputs. Or something like this, All right? Now the input you can name as anything like A is one of the input, B is another input, and this is output. So let's see you represent as Y. So if I'm writing A here, B here, Y here, now we start filling the values. So because it is two input and gate, the size of the two table will be two to the power two. So two to the power two means four. Two to the power two means there will be total four entries. Okay. So four entries we can we can write like it from this side to avoid the confusion. Right half of the time 0 and half of the time 1 and here you can write alternatively 0 1 0 1 4 times right if we are having let's say 3 input and gate then the size of the truth table will be 2 to the power 3 right if let's say you are having 4 input and gate then the size of the truth table will be 2 to the power 4 16 rows will be there and how we will write the combinations so let's say if you are drawing a truth table which is having 16 rows you write in the very first input like a you write 8 times 0 and 8 times 1 then in the next column you can write 4 times 0 4 times 1 4 times 0 4 times 1 and so on now because this is end so when both the inputs will be low the output will also be low so if it is one input is low and another is high, it will give you low only. So this will also low. And here we will get high input, output, right? So this is the truth table of end gate. Now let's draw the truth table of OR gate. So I'm just wiping it out. The same truth table we can use, right? So let's draw the truth table or OR gate. OR gate will give you the low input if low output if both the inputs are low. Otherwise, it will generate high output as we are already aware about this. Right? So this is, would be the truth table for OR gate. Now let's talk about NOT gate. So NOT gate is just a kind of negation. So let's say if we are giving here x, the NOT will give you x bar. So the truth table of uh, NOT gate, I'm saying TT of NOT will look like x you are giving as input and you are getting let's say y output. So if x is 0, the y will be 1. If x is 1, the y will be 0. Right? So this is very easy. Now the third gate, let's say NAND gate. So let's draw the total table for NAND. NAND is just the negation of the output of AND. So NAND will give you, let's say, this is these two inputs are there, A and B. If both the inputs are low, in case it is AND gate, it will generate low output, means zero. But NAND is the negation of that, so it will give you high. So when AND will give you low, NAND will give you high. So in remaining situations, it is also low in case of AND. So NAND will give you high. NAND will also give you high here. And here you will get low output. Right? Similarly, if you want to prepare the truth table, 
for nor gate so let's draw here in case of nor gate i am writing nor nor is just the negation of or so in case of or the first when we are having both the inputs are low we will get low output in case of or if it is not then it will be the complement of that so when both are low nor will give you high out the remaining places or will give you high but nor will give you low right so this is the truth table of nor so till then we have talked about nand nor not or now let's talk about the xor and xnor here i have written n nor this is xnor actually okay so consider it as xnor now let's draw the truth table for xor and xnor so let's draw it. xor in xor when there are same inputs let's say both are low or both are high in that case xor will always generate low out okay and when the inputs are different one input is let's say low another is high or this one is high or another low in that case xor will generate high output right and xnor will be the reverse of it right so if you want to write the output of xnor it will be just opposite of it just writing here let's say so in case of x nor it will give you y bar right so y bar writing here x nor and this is let's say x or so if it is zero x nor will give you one this will be zero this will be zero this will be one so please try to remember in case of xor in case of xor when both the inputs are different like here it will give you high xor but in case of xnor when both the inputs are same whether it is low or high then it will give you high is that okay so remember these two tables in next class we will be talking about different rules of boolean algebra